All right, welcome to a quick little uh, flipped video on um, titrating an unknown weak acid. Uh, the first thing you need to do is s create an Excel document and uh, put your data in. So in A1, put the volume of sodium hydroxide in milliliters. In uh, column B there, B1, pH. And please copy those um, volumes and pHs in like so. And when you're done, we can move on to the next part. All right, so you want to plot the data and make a, a graph. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight your data and just the data. Don't highlight the, the actual headers there. And get all the data highlighted. And you're going to click on Insert. Then click on the Scatter Plot. And we're going to pick the one where it's just the dots. There's no lines connecting. So click on that. And it graphs the data for you. Uh, the old way Excel worked, it, it was a little bit better. It actually put titles in, so we have to do that ourselves now. Uh, let's get rid of this legend here, because that doesn't really mean too much. We'll get rid of that. And we're going to add some information to our graph. If your graph is not looking like this, you probably uh, put a point in incorrectly, so just go make sure you double-check your points here. All right, so let's put our title on this. So we're going to um, click on your, your graph overall. So you have these options up here for chart tools. You have design, layout, and format. Um, we're going to click on the layout. And we're going to click on chart title and center, uh, or, or above chart, excuse me. And we'll put on here what this was. And this was a titration of an unknown acid. That's our title. Again, click on the graph so you can see your three choices. Now let's click on the axis titles. And we'll do the horizontal axis, which is the x-axis. And this title should be the... Well, what was it? It was the volume of sodium hydroxide added, and it was in a unit of milliliters. So put that in parentheses. Okay. Same thing. Let's do axis, vertical axis this time, and we're going to do the rotated title like this, and this axis represents the pH. All right. So there you have it. There's your graph, titration of an unknown acid. We know it's a weak acid. It's got that little funny tail in the front there like so. Your next job is to copy this. So highlight your graph, control C or right click and copy. And then go to your lab report and where your analysis section is, you're going to uh, paste this in there. Uh, your part one should actually be the calculations for that. So this graph is actually going to go in the, the part two, I believe, or part three. Okay, um, and then just paste your graph in there. So copy and paste it in. I do recommend you uh, make it larger. Oops. Um, so stretch it out a little bigger, and then by hand, like it says in your directions, you next you now want to analyze it by like uh, highlighting certain regions of this graph here. Um, I recommend maybe use some different colored writing utensils so that way it, it shows up a little better and it's easier for me to understand or for anybody to understand what you've done there. So that's how you make your graph and you're going to insert this into your lab report. Good luck and if you have any questions let me know.